Hey guys, I'm Anand, your tech guide from Tech Store, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you the latest Dell Inspiron 5518. This is the successor of the earlier 5510 series, and we have it hands on with us. If you are planning to buy this laptop or you've already purchased and want to upgrade, then this is the video you need to watch. So let's do it. So this uh, 5000 series has Core i5 as well as Core i7 variants. Uh, it has got uh, non-graphic as well as Intel onboard graphic variants also. The look and feel of the silver edition will remain the same. The process to basically upgrade, uh, replace hard drive, battery, everything will remain the same. So on the top over here, you have a very premium metal finish. Uh, you can feel the metal if you are in an air conditioned environment, it will become very cold and it will feel very premium. Over here, there is a rubberized uh, edging that they have given, which was not there in the earlier uh, 5000 series and a lot of you know, unwanted marks used to come up. So this they have improvised. Uh, once you open, you have a three-sided nano bezel. The webcam has got a webcam shutter. We will check the webcam quality. It looks like a dual array microphone. So the inners have a gray finish inside. So it has got a dual tone finish, giving it a more premium outlook. So the screen is uh, 300 nits, 15.6 inches full HD. And uh, the anti-glare screen is uh, pretty good. The keyboard again is uh, much superior than the 3000 series. Uh, it comes with backlit keyboard, white backlit keyboard. The power button is integrated over here, but remember the power button is not a part of the entire keyboard. So there is a power button below this particular keyboard. And if say in a scenario your keyboard has to be replaced, the power button need not be replaced. So that's a good thing actually. And it comes with a fingerprint reader integrated onto the uh, power button itself. The touchpad is again the same grey finish is there and it is a large uh, multi gesture rectangular touchpad. It's got a very uh, sharp design all through. On the left uh, you have a charging pin and a charging pin indicator. You have full HDMI port, you have a USB 3.0 port, you have a Thunderbolt uh, USB-C port. In the front there are no IOs. On the right uh, you have a memory card reader, SDMMC big card reader and you have a USB 3.0 port and a headphone mic combi. So Kensington lock is not there. In the rear also you don't have anything, but it looks pretty neat, this rear part over here. And the base is also very clutter free, as is always a good amount of perforation has been given, but we're not very happy with the, the heat vent being completely covered by the screen once opened. These are the speaker grills over here, left and right. The rudders are also all not all that uh, great. I mean, very thinly pasted rudders, it looks like, could have been better here. Although they have shown uh, two vents over here, but there is only one fan, which we will show you later part of the video. So let's uh, dig deep into the laptop and uh, see how you can upgrade or what exactly is there inside for you to decide before you buy this particular laptop. So this is the video shot taken from the Dell Inspiron 5518 and uh, Dell has continued the culture of giving good webcams in most of their laptops and this being a semi-premium segment, the quality is very good. They have also given a webcam shutter, a hardware webcam shutter actually. So it becomes like this, I have now put it off and uh, I have now put it on. So this shutter uh, really helps. So let's have a look at the speaker quality of the Dell Inspiron 5518 and here it is. The speaker quality is uh, fairly good actually, but we would have expected a little more louder in this particular price range. Uh, the quality is crisp, and there is good bass also, but it could have been louder. So a good speaker from uh, Dell Inspiron 5518. Let's check the hinges stability. Let's see if it opens with one hand. Oh, it does. Absolutely no problem. So the problem which the 3000 series uh, had I'm very sure this model is not going to be facing. So good hinge stability. The viewing angles, it has got IPS uh, wide viewing angles. So the viewing angles are also very neat. Absolutely no smudging or no edging whenever you are watching from uh, different sides. So it's got a very good uh, hinge lift design as you can see. Once you open the laptop, it gives this uh, area over here for heat uh, to be dissipated as well as the air ventilation. So it becomes a little airy here. So the contact with the surface is uh, reduced leading to good thermal efficiency.
first thing first we need to flip the laptop and we need to remove all the screws that are visible you take to take a star screwdriver and start removing the screws the screw will not come off and even this screw will not come off So once you have removed all the screws, you'll see the this hinges section already protruded the base. Just need to take a triangular prior like this and start protruding very very slowly and gently and run it through completely. And ditto with this side. And uh, the base will come off. We need to again unscrew a little and ditto with this part and the base will come out. So these are the inners of the Dell Inspiron 5518 and uh, let me run you through the different things. This is the battery here, there are speakers over here. This is the M.2 NVMe SSD Bay 1, this is the Bay 2, this is the Wi-Fi chip, this is the RAM area, this is the daughter board and the CMOS cell. So now let's start by removing the battery. Let's start removing the battery, remove the screws over here. And we need to remove this particular connector over here. Just need to pull it out. The connector will come off and you can remove the battery very comfortably. So the battery is a 54 watt hour battery, quite a large battery and the power ratings are 17.4 volts and 3420 mAh. So if you want to replace the battery of the Dell Inspiron 5518, you need to buy this uh, V6W33 part type uh, battery and you can replace it. And in a scenario, your uh, connector of this particular battery has not come along. You need to remove the existing connector. We'll show you how to do that. Just need to open this notch a little and uh, the connector will come off. Use this connector, take the new battery and fix it back like this. Let's keep the battery on one side. Coming to the SSD part, this is the SSD one. This particular bay is empty for you. You can buy a 2230 form factor M.2 NVMe SSD and you can install a secondary SSD. There is already one SSD which is there. This is the gel, the heat sink that is there already. So once you have a SSD taken, you can use this particular heat sink. So this is the second SSD area, you can just remove the SSD like this very comfortably and you can see the SSD has uh, the heatsink pasted already. So this is basically a Kingston uh, 512GB M.2 NVMe SSD 2230 form factor. So this form factor fits on this as well as this particular uh, SSD bay. So good thing that uh, Dell has given an option to install two SSDs. The total upgrade capacity of the SSD is uh, two terabyte here as well as two terabyte here. So up to four terabyte is what you can install on this particular laptop, two plus two. So you can install form factor 512 GB, 256 GB, one terabyte on either of the slots. So in a scenario you have a 2280 SSD which you've already purchased, M.2 the long SSD. That also can be installed on one of the bays here on this particular bay and uh, once you remove this particular stickering you can see this notch is over here you can just remove this notch all right and uh, you can paste it back like this and you can come back to this part over here and uh, you can just put it like this and uh, you can install a 2280 form factor ssd also as you can see over here so very thoughtful uh, thinking about uh, placing of the two different form factor ssds so you can put one ssd the short one over here and uh, you can put the long one over here so nice little design here so we'll just uh, put the ssd over here with the heat sink uh, that has come so that the heat sink can be utilized and the ssd is fitted so 2280 form factor over here and 2230 over here let's move on uh, with the ram part over here so it has got two ram base as you can see so the total ram upgrade capacity for this particular model is up to 32 gb 16 plus 16 gb is the max that it will take just remove one of these uh, rams like this using the fingers the notches will be pressed and they will give away to the ram here the ram is basically a 8 gb ddr4 3200 megahertz or a 16 gb ddr4 3200 megahertz or 4 gb ddr4 so in a scenario your laptop ram has gone bad this is the ram that you have to buy 
ditto with this side also so you can remove this side ram by just removing it like this and uh, taking the same ram so it's got 8 gb by default 8 plus 8 16 gb in this particular model you can take a 1 hour specification 3200 megahertz 4 gb 8 gb or 16 gb and uh, replace it with this particular ram replace it like this So this laptop has got only one fan over here as you can see and uh, you can uh, remove this fan and uh, replace it in a scenario it is not working just remove these two screws remove the notch and the fan will come off so if you want to replace the fan just take a similar fan like this and uh, replace it just take another fan and first insert that particular connector So this is the Wi-Fi chip over here. If you want to replace the Wi-Fi chip, just need to remove this one screw and these two antenna cables and you can replace the Wi-Fi chip with the same one. Now if you want to replace the CMOS cell, take a similar CMOS cell which is available on our website. Just remove this particular cell like this and there is a glue over here. You just need to remove it and again fit the CMOS cell comfortably like this. So speaker can be easily removed over here as you can see the speaker uh, is not held by any screws just need to remove this wire lining over here from here till here and then this speaker this side speaker also comes off without any problem because there is no screw here and the wiring is over here remove this speaker notch and you can replace the speaker of this particular model. So this is the backlit keyboard connector, this is the keyboard connector, this is the touchpad connector over here and uh, this is the display connector, this is the DC jack connector over here, the DC jack is just below this hinges here so you can remove these two screws, the hinges will come out and you can remove the DC jack and uh, this is the motherboard to daughter board connector over here, the IO bus which is there and uh, this is the power button over here and uh, this is a daughter board the CMOS cell and these are the speakers basically so let's put it all back just need to put the battery back here first be very sure before fitting the battery that it goes into the notches the grooves that are there over here as well as over here the battery goes into those grooves put it back so we need to just press from all sides and uh, first screw has to be the hinge screw that you put and over here too This my friends was a video showing you the Dell Inspiron 5518 and uh, Dell has done a pretty good job. It is coming with Core i5 and Core i7 11 generation processor right now. Even the 12th generation processor has been uh, integrated and we have few models that have come with the 12th generation with the same model name and with the same outlook. There is no difference. So if it is a 12th or 11th generation depending on when you are buying it, you are going to be getting that particular generation. The body is entirely metallic, very premium finish, uh, dual tone, silver and grey finish is what uh, Dell has given. The keyboard quality is fantastic. It's got backlit keyboard and uh, key travel is very good. The touchpad is also great. It has got that multi-gesture rectangular uh, uni pad. The webcam quality is fantastic with dual array microphone and it's got a webcam shutter also. The screen is uh, 300 nits and very bright screen with anti-glare and that, that was a good part actually. The anti-glare is something that uh, we all require and uh, it has got all the ports that you would require. Ethernet port is not there obviously because of the slimness. We are not particularly happy with the heat vent placement actually although they have shown uh, two heat vents uh, there is only one fan so we are expecting at least two fans in this particular model so another thoughtful uh, design uh, uh, which Dell has integrated is you can install a M.2 2280 form factor as well as 2230 so we have shown you in the video how you can install any one of the two the long one or the short SSD in this particular laptop the RAM supported is up to 32 GB DDR4 3200 megahertz we have also shown you how to replace the RAM here the SSD installing a M.2280 SSD as well as replacing the battery, CMOS cell, speaker and literally almost everything, the processor fan of this particular laptop. Thanks a lot for watching guys, uh, hope you liked the video and uh, do let us know suggestions and comments. Thank you so much.